Welcome and come back to another video, and in today's video, I will be showcasing you guys the White Queen, aka Emma Frost, in New Journey. Now, without further ado, let's just hop into it. So, firstly, as we can take a look, this is Emma Frost GUI. It's pretty cool. She has 400 health, 450 energy slash psychic energy, 400 stamina, and she is currently 900 Robux, which is a decent price. She's a permanent game pass. Keep that in mind. And also, she is very well worth it, as you will see in this showcase, and maybe a later gameplay. And she can basically demolish anybody that she pleases. Now, we'll just take a little look at this outfit. I love the white hair. I always love that about Emma, her white blonde hair. And she, she can go with any color, but her casual white outfit. And also, just take a little look at the animated little flat cape at the back. Now, with all this out of the way, let's hop into the actual ability showcase. So Emma Foss does not have any special flight or super jump, but she does have decent combat. As you see, her base character has two kicks and is pretty good at combat with pretty fast like little intervals between abilities. As you see, she can beat the living hell out of a person. So now we have the biggest move for Emma Foss, which is her diamond form. As you see, it's a smooth transition into this amazing looking form. You have the diamond energy around her, or I guess the telepathic energy, whatever she has. The beautiful diamond eyes, the indented face, which we should get into the light. And overall, she just looks amazing in this outfit. But let's move on from that to the actual buffs of being in diamond form, which is very high and has a lot. So basically, firstly, she cannot be ragdolled and or grabbed. I guess I cannot grab her in any way and cannot ragdoll her. As you also see, bolts can reflect off of her, which is a cool little feature, although it will not damage the user. It simply will just bounce off of her and take away her shield, which again is pretty cool. She can also not be used on ability with, you know, grabbing, like I said, which means absorbing. Monica's absorbing. Re Reve, Agatha's absorbing spell. She cannot be hit by hit kills, and she's immune to hit kills entirely as a thing. Also, telepathic attacks like Jean Green's Pain Inflict to um, sleep, because you know her brain is basically a diamond. She's also immune to the Hex, which is a big thing because you know Hexes can be annoying and she can straight up kill that Wanda. She has enhanced health, as you see, a thousand health, and enhanced combat, doing a lot of damage, as you see, 45, 37, 75, which is a big number increase compared to her normal stats. Although, a couple drawbacks is, firstly, she cannot use telepathic moves. Secondly, she cannot regenerate health. So, if moves were done that did, like, an AoE damage, which I don't think Agatha has one, instead of taking your shield, it will take your health, which is a big thing. And as you see, she is immune to all moves that would get rid of her abilities, making her one of the strongest characters in this game. And although she cannot attack Agatha, she can still be in shield and be basically purely protected from, you know, Agatha's and Wanda's, making her a very meta character. Now, let's move on to her next telepathic move, and you'll see more of her diamond form in a gameplay. Next, we have Memory Overload, which basically makes you and a victim go here together. And you overload their memories, basically making them pass out, unable to do moves. And though they can get up and not use their moves for as long as that is on their head. So that's pretty cool. This is when you can combo them and do like sleep and combo them. But now as you see it went away and she has her moves. Pretty cool ability I will say. So the next move is actually an insta kill under 50% HP. And that is telepathic illusion. And just watch. you see why. As you see, they fall to the ground in pain. And if they are under 50 HP, this is what will happen. So now, Wanda is obviously under 50 HP, so let's do it again. As you see, she just falls over like she had a basic heart attack. And that will work on any character under 50 HP. I do not know though if, if, you know, the Dark Phoenix, Phoenix, and Mom Wanda's have such a protection, but they probably do not. So now we have Mass Mind Control, which will make all nearby players attack a specific person. 
as you see, they will simply just shoot bolts, and the person can shield, although only shielding is allowed, meaning it's a way to for sure kill somebody if there's at least more than one person, you know, around you to force to attack. It's pretty overpowered seeing as a person can only shield, but of course if they shield they should be good. Now we have her basic bolt, which is a psychic blast, which will put the victim under pain inflictment when you hit them, doing even after pain with 20 base pain, where you can go and beat them up. So now we have Emma Frost's final technical last ability, which is telepathic wave. You can charge it to make it a bigger radius and do more damage, and while doing it max, it does a lot of damage. It does, I think, 200 damage. As you see, they were little health, but still, it flung them a long time away and was pretty big. Now I will show you what happens when you try setting it off when, you know, it just starts charging. So let's wait five seconds. And actually, we have Monica over here. So, as you see, pretty short around you and only does 100 damage. Also, the particles are just amazing, and they always eat up these particles so freaking bad, I swear. So now, let's move on to Emma Frost's psychic ability. Firstly is mental tracking, basically a locator spell like Mom Juan does, but you cannot teleport to them, just see where they are. And it has no limit. It's pretty cool, she looks pretty cool doing it, and it will follow the user around, which let's show you. As you see, shield and stuff does not matter. You can spy on them as much as you want. And you can end it with clicking one or physically clicking the button. So now we have the second biggest psychic ability per se, or her biggest psychic ability, which is astral projection. As you see, it's pretty cool in the astral realm. It does have a astral plane chat, which I guess other Emma Frost could look at. And so you can only fly in this state. You are, though, you know, going through walls. And what you have to do is fly to somebody and click on their body to basically get a mental track. But you have buttons up here. As you see, my body is flying around so I can use teleport and hit back so I can just start, you know, attacking everyone nearby the person, per se. Pretty cool teleport button. Now your body is vulnerable though, so be wary of, you know, your health because someone might be killing you and you're having too much fun to notice. You also have Astral Pain, which is just a pain inflict, pretty much. It says, Elite Con 423 is giving you a massive pain inflict in Astral Projection. Be careful. And it, these have decent cooldowns. And finally, we have Control for Astral Projection, which I can use my own moves on others to Monica. And I basically have semi-immortality, I'm pretty sure, doing this. Let's just test that out. Or not. I guess I do take damage, which is the only downer to this. But I'm pretty sure so does Monica. So that's pretty cool. Now, I'm out of my, I'm out of my control because it does have a limited time slot because I would be too overpowered. And one more thing I want to show you guys is that when you press 2 and go back to Astral, it's a really cool little animation going directly to the position your body is currently laying in. And that is pretty much it for Emma Foss. Oh, and one more thing. She has enhanced healing, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I read it on the Game Pass page and all that stuff. But as you see, she's healing decently fast, at least in my eyes. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications as always. And leave a comment down below. Could be something positive. Could be a video idea. Like, you know, every way to kill a Nardu in the Vampire Origins. The Vampire Legacies for Hope. You know, stuff like that. Or if you have questions about any games, like the Vampire Legacies 2, I can answer. I will be asking that for the next couple videos. Comment down below because I want to do a video basically being answering the most asked questions about the Vampire Legacies 2. And I will literally answer every question you give me. So for the, for the next like, couple videos, I will be suggesting this, especially in the TVL videos and gameplays. So I'll see you then. Love you all. Goodbye.